All right, so we are going to be spending an entire 24 hours playing Theme Park Tycoon 2. And in these 24 hours, we're going to build a gigantic park and we're going to load in a brand new park. We're even starting from the very beginning. We're not going to use any Robux to buy like money or anything. We're going to make our own money ourselves. We're going to start a new game. The stupid tutorial. Get away for Wait, how do you skip it? Skip? Yes, I want to skip. Okay, now we can actually start. First, we're going to start with an underground money farm. We're going to go, let's go to the right this time. We're going to go down to the right like this. And we're just going to go down a lot. And we're going to keep going down. And we're going to go down even more and more. Okay, how deep is this grass? Oh, is that it? Okay, finally, we hit rock bottom right here. Now we're just going to like extend this to the side. And to be able to see it better, we'll make it a little higher like this. And then down, down. Oh, what? I'm stuck. What, what have you done to me? Well, actually, I did it to myself, but... I hope I don't get really bored because 24 hours is a very, very long time. We're going to make this money farm cozy style. I watched this video and I kind of do it the way he does, but uh, we're going to try to do it his style a little more because I haven't tried his style of doing money farms and I hope it actually works. Let's trust cozy for once. The right is going to be here and then there's going to be a queue path for these two. And then right here is the exit. So we're just going to have an entire thing like this. Oh my gosh. We only have 7,000. What have we done? Oh my gosh. Why is it so dark? We need this to be way lighter. I think the lights are in the scenery no they're not in scenery where are the lights oh right here so we're gonna grab these lights and we'll add a couple of the lights so then it's not pitch black in here you know we can go ahead and open this right now oh shoot i almost forgot to put trash cans because these people over here litter everywhere and if we want a five-star park we gotta have trash cans literally everywhere and we also need benches because they need to sit down they get tired walking around this entire theme park for a long time so we gotta cut them some slack and give them a bench to sit on bench right there bench right there bench right there oh you want a bench uh sit right there before i move on to other stuff we need stalls over here so we need some soft drinks and we'll just spam the soft drinks every couple blocks and then we need some pizza because they get hungry too they don't just get thirsty walking around they need some dessert because you know sometimes they deserve some dessert and then we'll give them some bathrooms because uh these people need to go to the bathroom for some reason even though it's just roblox but whatever who would pay eight dollars to go into a bathroom we need to make that let's do five for now and i think that's good right there let's build some more rides though so this one we gotta build now a wild mouse all right and then up up and then we need an entrance right here exit right here we'll open the ride up no not testing open and then put a q path boom okay now before we move on we need some props in there because when there's props there's people so we're gonna add some bushes around here just a ton of like props and nature and stuff look at all the people they're loving this place so much let's make the park a little more expensive to get into because then people actually still pay it and i get more money so it's basically free money right here and i'm also gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff because we really don't need any of this stuff that it puts for us okay it looks like everybody's paying for the ticket to come in and no one's complaining oh my goodness literally three people right here wearing almost the exact same thing okay we made this corkscrew now we're just gonna do an entrance an exit and a little q path people are saying that junior coaster is way too expensive look at this everyone's saying that so we'll just lower it like two dollars right there junior coaster is too expensive what i just barely made it less expensive our money is actually going up pretty fast so we're gonna be able to make another coaster let's do this one right here we're just gonna go in order with the coasters i guess so we're gonna do a custom design of this one honestly i kind of want one of these pizzas right now that looks actually pretty appetizing I know I'm the owner of the park, but like I get a free pizza, right? No? Okay, fine. You're fired. Get out of here. They still think the junior coaster is expensive too. This must have been the new update that they made it so money farms don't really work anymore. Okay, since these aren't working too well, we're going to start doing our flat rides on this other side. Oh my goodness. Why is terrain so expensive? Okay, so they can walk over here and then we'll put some trash cans here too because you know they're going to litter. And then we're just going to save up until we can get the teacups. It won't be too long. So let's see how long it takes for the teacups to be able to be placed. Oh, and while we're at it, we even have space behind this staircase that we made. Made, and we can actually put like stalls right here people are asking for restroom stalls in here so we'll put another restroom right here just for the people that are asking them look at all these people that need to go to the bathroom okay we might add an extra stall like over here or something let's clean some trash all right we're actually kind of close but it's still gonna take a while so to pass the time all i'm gonna do is run around my entire plot let's see how fast we can do this in my speed isn't too high so it's actually gonna take a pretty long time to run around this entire thing okay we made it to one corner oh we have enough money now okay we haven't even made it to the second corner okay one corner left guys oh we're so close to finishing it 
there we go okay now we're just gonna go back to our money farm and see how it's going down there okay here we go we're gonna buy ourselves a little teacups right so we're gonna grab these teacups right here and we'll place it like right there it looks like the teacups is extremely popular people are saying it's cheap let's do one more dollar here and look at how many people are in this ride let's build another flat ride because this one looks like a success right here we'll actually do a vintage car since it's actually really really cheap so let's build this little vintage cars okay here we go entrance exit and we'll make a longer queue path for this one because i know this one's gonna be pretty popular a lot of people were asking for balloons so i don't know if i should do a balloon or another ride there's still a ton of people wanting to go to the restroom so maybe we should put another restroom over here we have money to build maybe one more ride so we'll take out some terrain right here and let's see what we build next okay i think the spiral ride is good let's place that right here and entrance and exit okay instead of afk because i feel like that's a little bit cheating with the 24 hours we're just gonna be running around this park over and over again until we get the money we need look at our money now it's at 18,000 now we're gonna be able to buy a ton of new rides I think the twister is gonna be a good one to add to this part oh and it's also very very dark we should probably add some more lights and now since we already found out that this ride system isn't gonna work for us since they kind of fixed the rides we're going to actually be making an actual ride that goes pretty fast and we'll see how that one works out for us and since we don't have that much money the flying coaster is gonna be the best for us because it's only 900 per piece and the other ones are like 2,000 we're gonna start off with one singular booster and then we'll just make that booster super super strong so we can go through this entire thing okay there we go now we just gotta make the booster be like very very powerful so boost power will probably go to like 250 maybe and then we'll test it to make sure it doesn't go backwards since this booster might not be strong enough please be strong enough yes it is strong enough okay we actually might make it a little bit stronger so then the ride goes by a little faster now we're gonna open it to the public i hope this is very popular for them and now we have a two star rating i don't know how to make that go up but let's try to put some scenery around so we'll just put some barrels around in this cube path like this maybe we'll add these little cannonballs right here and then some hay bales like this and we'll probably remove all of these supports because they're actually getting kind of annoying we'll see how the part goes after we add this log flume but let's do this first okay don't really care if it's on the path i have disabled collision so we're all good they're saying the flying coaster is actually cheap and i was thinking they were gonna say that because it's actually a big coaster so we're gonna make it two more expensive and we'll see how that works out okay how's it going over here in the other side of my park they're saying the twist is cheap okay we'll make it more expensive for you now i really want to make some really expensive rides down there so people actually pay a lot more for the rides but i don't really have the money right now so i'm gonna do a little more laps around this park and see how much money we make doing these laps Okay, we finally finished our running. Now we're gonna go down. We got $13,000 and we got 99 guests. I want 100 guests. Wait, we're gonna wait until we get 100 guests. Yes, there we go. That actually did not take... Okay, it's back to 99. But now we're gonna actually build an expensive coaster and we're gonna make it an actual coaster. Let's see if this one's actually getting popular. Okay, it's maybe about $1,000 and that's actually not bad. They're paying quite a bit of money to get on this ride. So we're gonna go build another actual good ride. Okay, we got a perfect little plot of land over here and let's put some more paths so people can walk over here and now for our expensive ride i think we're gonna do the multi-launch coaster okay, let's go into this advanced editor and we're gonna launch because it's a multi-launch so we gotta launch okay there's our entire ride let's make an entrance and an exit now open that to the public and we'll make it maybe two more expensive than it already is and now that we have so much space over here let's start putting some more food stalls a lot of people were asking for balloons in the little thing up here so we're gonna put a balloon stall right here just to attract more people i think i'm gonna run some more laps and then we'll do one more very very big coaster and see how much money that gives me okay we are now at thirty-seven thousand dollars, and we also cannot forget to do our stalls so we got to do a couple stalls over here i think we should do our water coaster it's pretty expensive and i think water coasters give a lot of money out so we're gonna try it out okay this one doesn't have a boost so we have to do chain lift for this one and then the chain lift will end right here and it'll just splash all the way down end up right here and it matches up perfectly and then let's open it up i'm pretty sure it'll work so i'm not gonna test it and we gotta make it a little more expensive i think for our last ride we're gonna be doing the carousel so we're just gonna
gonna put the carousel there do an entrance and exit just like always and then we'll just make a little cute path and that'll be it for the whole money farm perfect and then we'll open this one up as well and make it actually i think that's a good price for that and now for the last of this money farm all we're gonna do is look through these and just kind of adjust our money farm according to what they say right here they said vintage cars is too expensive and the water coaster is too expensive so we'll make the water coaster a little cheaper it says the log flume is also too expensive we're gonna go fix that right here okay i think that's it oh multi-launch is too expensive what that's the one that cost me the most though okay we'll just make this one a little bit cheaper what the i cannot find a ride i want to ride what maybe we'll make some more space back here and make intense rides okay so for intense rides i think we'll put the gravitron it's not that expensive and also i forgot to put a transportation ride so that's what we'll do next we'll do a transportation train okay i think our money farm is finally complete we don't have any more complaints of people saying oh it's too expensive or it's not expensive enough for some reason they want to pay more or something so now we're just going to do a couple more laps around our very last laps around this park before we actually start building some insane stuff in this park we've only spent a total of like only almost two hours doing this entire money farm and so we still have a ton of time to just build an entire park so we're just gonna go run around some laps and we'll see how long it takes to get a good amount of money to start our theme park okay that was all of the rounds and we actually made a heck ton of money i was so bored my finger literally hurts from pressing the w key on my keyboard going round and round and round and round and round around this we have three hundred and seventy two thousand dollars we actually made that a lot faster than i thought it would be so now we're going to be making an entire theme park but first i'm gonna take out some of the plots here so we'll take out these five thousand ones because they don't cost that much and so there won't make a huge dent in my bank right here okay now we have a gigantic plot here i have a little tool right here that we're going to use to determine what we're actually going to be building here it's not going to be my choice okay we have the wheel here this is the wheel of awesomeness i don't know why i named it that but this has a ton of themes on it and this is going to determine what we are going to be doing for the very entrance of this park and basically just the main area and we're going to spin it for just the main area of this park let's see what we get i hope we get a good one there's some weird ideas on here and we're getting castle okay so we're gonna build basically a castle in the front let's do this we're gonna remove it so we don't get it later but that's gonna be our thing that we get but we are going to make like an entire area and a roller coaster my plan is to do an abandoned castle right here first we're gonna make the abandoned castle and then we'll do stuff around that so we gotta find the very very center of the park it's right here so oh actually wait we should make it a little smaller and then we'll go straight and the castle will start around right there and the castle is gonna be a very very big castle it'll probably probably be like this big all around like this okay something like this is what the castle is gonna look like it might be a little bit bigger throughout the back but that's kind of my plan i want this right here to be like the chain lift so it has a lot of space right there there might be like a river going through too for now we'll start with the water right there the entrance to the right is basically just gonna be like a bridge going through there i don't want the bridge to be like right in the middle because i feel like that's kind of basic so we're gonna do it from the side okay that's the bridge right there we're gonna like make a little bit bigger like this and then we'll probably make it like cobblestone and then almost like a greenish color and for this castle honestly i'm just gonna try to make something up and see what works so the entrance will be like over here there'll probably be like a cube path going this way and then this way and then it'll enter like over here and there'll be like some little archway so we'll see how we do this like that and then there'll be like an archway right there and an archway right there and now to make the archway it's not that hard because all we have to do is grab the primitive that looks like an arch this one right here there we go i'm still not sure what like textures and stuff we're gonna make it so we're just gonna do that later and then we're just gonna kind of expand the building over here okay now we're gonna start working on the roofing look we already have a basic structure right here so we're gonna make some roofs right here now we'll use this primitive right here for the corner okay we added a little bit of windows right here and we finished the roof for this place now we're gonna do a little roof for this place and we're gonna work on the main area of the castle after this okay this is going to be the main area of the castle and this is just a little structure around it right here this is gonna be just a random building and there's gonna be like a really big like bridge thing that goes all the way to this side right here so there's gonna be a bridge right here and i think that's what i'm gonna be making right now we're actually making some good progress after the bridge we're kind of done with the whole castle okay here's the bridge now we're just gonna make some little arches and stuff and kind of connect some pieces too we're also gonna make a building right here at the end of the bridge because you know like what is it even leading to and we'll put some poles right here because we don't really have round stuff here other than the arches so we need some more round stuff and we'll get a cone at the top to make it super pointy and when i say 
super pointy, I mean very, very very pointy okay so now we're basically done with this castle what we have to do now is finish the bridge make some paths around it and we got to do the inside with the ride so we're going to i don't know how to do this bridge honestly we're just gonna make something look cool over here i'm just gonna make some stuff up and see if it kind of works out okay so we're gonna do two main poles right here at the front just like this like this it won't be perfect because it's like no snapping but it's fine i'm just gonna randomly place it and i hope it looks good i also just realized I don't really like the color of this thing because it's just kind of boring. So we're going to change it to like, I don't know. We're going to change it to a better color. I just don't know what that color is yet. Maybe like this color. Oh, I definitely need it to be cobblestone. Or maybe we could even do brick. Would that work out? Okay, this is definitely a better color. I think we might keep it at this one. I don't know if we will, but it's better. And then for the ground, we're actually going to make it the same texture, but we'll just make it a lot lighter like that. I think we should do some arches right here too, because I feel like that would look good. These arches actually take forever. I don't even know why I keep wanting to do them. I guess they just look really good, but they take so long. And maybe we could add a cone. I don't even know why we would add a cone, but I feel like it might look good. I don't know if this looks good, but we'll try it out. And for the final touch, we'll just do a little border at the end right here. Now we just got to do some flooring around here and we'll start making a little Q path and then we got to make the inside and then we're done all right we finished making a little q line here i don't know why i got all wonky here but that's what we're gonna work with so then it goes inside and then in here there should be a lot of stuff too okay now that we have our q path kind of made in here now we just gotta add some like decorations so maybe i'll just add some like picture frames and stuff like that some paintings around to just make it look fancy wow that's perfect right there okay i built some kind of ride i don't think it looks that good but maybe it'll be good once i ride it i haven't built an actual coaster in a very long time so i hope this is good we'll see how this works out okay so this is a little beginning part inside the castle and then a little area before the drop and then it's actually a pretty big drop i was surprised i could do this with the junior coaster but here's the drop whoa it's not even going that fast but it's actually kind of cool and then this way and then another turn a little stopping section and then we go back down and then here's the brakes i think for now we're actually going to keep it even though it's not that cool of a ride the time is actually going by pretty fast and i'm actually starting to get kind of tired and we're almost like six hours into this so we have a lot of time left but we have been here for a quite a bit of time i totally forgot to decorate this area so i guess i'll have to do that first okay i think i'm done with this entire loading station look it actually looks pretty cool and now we're just gonna work on this little area here because i have no idea what we're gonna add here and then we just have to fix some of the outside and we can move on to our very next section of the park maybe we can add another picture right here it'll be like a painting i don't know what to type in here old painting oh that actually worked and maybe we can add some props like these swords and axes right here that would be really cool whoa we can make the sword bigger some more old paintings like this and then one more on this side okay now we finished kind of decorating this area now i'm just gonna add a little bit of scenery around here and we need to do our terrain too oh my goodness guys we're back to just changing the terrain this is gonna take forever my fingers they're literally dying i've been using my fingers just clicking for hours on end and we still have like way longer to do Hit one mountain down, like 50 more to go. Okay, guys, after like an hour and a half of just insane smoothing of terrain, and I added a ton of stuff like water all over here, I'm finally done with this castle. So now we can finally move on to the very next thing. First, I kind of want to put a path down, but I don't know really where to put the path. So first, we're just going to go on to the next one. Let's get our wheel out to spin it again. Here we go, guys, our wheel of awesomeness. Uh, I kind of want to rename it, though. That's kind of a boring name. The wheel of D destruction oh destriction no not destriction the wheel of destruction now we're gonna spin it one more time and we're gonna see what theme we get and that'll be for the left side of the park oh no guys oh no what do we get pirate chinese chinese okay let's go so we got the chinese theme we're gonna remove it now but that theme is going to go this entire left side of the park and then we'll have another theme for the right side i kind of want a path right here for like the main park so we'll have like a very very big area over here and this will be the entrance of the ride something like this and then the chinese area is going to be here to the left so we'll make a little path going that way or a big path this is a pretty large path and maybe we'll have this be a little bit more underground so we're going to take out some terrain around here or 
actually maybe we'll do this like on a mountain all right i have decided that for this area there's gonna be a lot of high areas and low areas and there's just gonna be a heck ton of mountains which is not a good thing but also it's not a bad thing and these mountains are mostly gonna be grass so we don't really have to change the color of these basically all back here and then we'll have some mountains on the other side too and then i think we'll go ahead and buy this plot right here even though it's forty thousand, it's okay and that's basically just gonna be the structure of our entire chinese area we'll also have a ton of water around here so that's gonna be something we're gonna add okay so basically i'm gonna spend hours smoothing out this entire terrain area and then we'll start building some buildings so see you in a couple hours after i finish like all of this work did i make some very interesting shapes with this terrain yes am i gonna roll with it sure 20 minutes in and my finger already hurts from clicking bro after i finish this entire thing i'm gonna need some kind of band-aid or treatment on my finger because it's actually gonna be in pain okay guys literally two hours later we have this entire thing smoothed out i even did the back of it i don't know why i did the back of it it took me extra long to even do the back of it i made sure to do some cool patterns right here because i saw in a picture of like some mountains in china that they have these weird like points right here out of nowhere so we did a ton of little points and it kind of made it look better so i'm glad i did that now we're gonna start with our little house down here that we're gonna build and then maybe we could have a waterfall coming down from this point right here all the way down to the lake so maybe we'll have the waterfall come from this right here trickle all all the way down to basically right there and then the lake will just kind of come out through here and now we can start adding our water the water will basically come from like somewhere over here we're gonna get some water emitters and then i guess just make some kind of waterfall oh that actually does look like a waterfall i did not think that would turn out well but look it actually turned out really really good and i think right here we're gonna make a little teacups right so we're gonna make a building around the teacups right okay here's like the base of the building it'll look better later i promise guys okay you can actually see the shape of it now now look it's actually looking really really good spam click it whoa look how it's looking for now more spam clicking now the hardest part is these corners every single time we have to make it go down one and then shift it and down one and shift it and down one for four freaking corners finally corner number four. Oh my gosh these are taking way longer than they should at this point i should be in the hospital with my fingers because my fingers are literally burning okay after a ton of of finger burnage this building is finally finished it literally took me like more than an hour to build this building it took me like actually almost two hours oh there's glitching we have to fix the glitching why is there so much glitching in this one almost two hours to build this entire building it's because there's so many roof pieces there's just there's so many roof pieces it literally took me the same amount of time to make this and to make all of the terrain oh wait what if we add a roller coaster and we make it a wooden coaster wouldn't that be kind of cool because there is the great wall of china and that is kind of looking like the wooden coaster so maybe we can make the wooden coaster and make like walls around it to make it look like the great wall of china if you don't know what i mean i'll show you right here it's better if i show you than explain this so i'd make some kind of station right here and then i do the chain lift and everything and instead of supports i just make walls around it you'll see what i do okay here's the test of the first version of this ride i hope i don't have to do any more versions so let's hope this is good okay so the chain lift is good it's not too high but it's high enough i guess and the first little drop yay oh it's actually gaining some speed i didn't expect it to gain speed and then second little drop and back up and third one down here and back up and turn okay it's actually not as slow as i thought it was gonna be so i guess it's good and also we gotta change all this terrain because we literally ran into it like 20 times on this ride now i have to smooth this terrain even more oh my gosh my fingers i hope i finished the challenge with fingers but after that i don't need fingers right so basically this roller coaster is going to basically be the great wall of china and i'm gonna make buildings around it to make it look like that and so i basically just added like an extra three hours of work to this park but before i do that i have to add a ton of terrain so i'm gonna do another little hour of terrain making we're actually getting pretty close to halfway through this entire challenge so i'm actually kind of living through this my fingers aren't but i am if i look at the play time here let's see what it's at oh 11 hours and 35 minutes which means we're so close to 12 hours which is halfway through this entire challenge
now that i have done all of that stuff we are going to be ending part one right here because this is going to be a very very long video we made it to 12 hours on our time out of 24 so this is going to be it for this video if you want to keep watching and watch part two there's going to be a part two coming up either very very soon or it's already up and if it is already up there will be a little video up here so thanks for watching make sure to go watch part two and we'll see you guys in the next one